Hey, it's Carrie. Um, I know a lot of you are probably looking at sonnets in your English classes right now. So really quickly, I wanted to line out some of the basic differences between the two most common, which are the Shakespearean or English sonnet and the Petrarchan sonnet. So they do have a couple of things in common. They're both 14 lines. They're both an iambic pentameter and they both feature a volta, which is a point in the poem when uh, it kind of changes direction. The poet changes ideas or changes tone. Let's look at the differences. So in the Shakespearean sonnet, those 14 lines are divided into four units. So the first three units are quatrains, like quadrilateral lateral. It has four pieces. And then the last two lines are a couplet, literally a couple of lines. And those last two lines, the couplet, that is the volta. That's the point where the poem changes directions and we find out what the poet is really thinking. It's the however moment or the therefore moment. Now in a Petrarchan sonnet, the 14 lines are divided into two units. There's the first eight lines, the octave, and the last six lines, a sestet. Now the sestet is the volta. So the volta comes much sooner in Petrarchan sonnets. It's more like at the 60% mark where the poet kind of changes directions, changes ideas, or changes tones. The other difference is the rhyme scheme. If you've got a sonnet that you've never seen before in front of you and you need to figure out if it's Petrarchan or Shakespearean, look at the rhyme scheme. This is the rhyme scheme of a Shakespearean sonnet. So the matching letters symbolize lines that rhyme with each other. So A matches A, B matches B. So the first and third lines match, the second and fourth lines match all the way through those first 12 lines. We're gonna have alternating rhyming lines until we get to the couplet, the volta. Those two lines will rhyme with each other. This is the rhyme scheme of a Petrarchan sonnet. So we got those first eight lines, the octave. And again, those matching letters symbolize lines that rhyme with each other. So the first, fourth, fifth, and eighth lines will rhyme, and then the second, third, sixth, and seventh lines will rhyme. Then in the sestet, the volta, those last six lines, the rhyme scheme can vary, but typically you'll see something like this, where the ninth, eleventh, and thirteenth lines rhyme with each other, and then, you know, the tenth, twelfth, and fourteen lines rhyme. Or you might see something like this, where every third line rhymes. So those are some of the basic differences between a Shakespearean and a Petrarchan sonnet. Hope that helps.